Welcome back to part two, everybody, to the Axion Trials here at Midnight of Presence in Azusa, California. It's November 16th and it's about noon. As you may recall in part one, we were printing an eye design uh, similar to this one, but we were using the regular PVC system called the Centra system at International Coding. Now we're using the Axion system and it's the other eye and it's up to you to figure out which is which. Earlier it was the left or right and now we're doing the other eye and we're doing it with the Axion system and we're here to show how you can print our Axion system wet on wet. Most people don't believe that can happen, but here we're going to demonstrate that it can happen. Here we're using the Axion cotton printing white called the 1244 to a 230 mesh using a 65 a triple durometer squeegee. Then we're flashing it just like you would a normal plastisol. Then here we're using our uh, 102 Axion Paragon color using the Axion mixing system. And then we're gonna, with a 230 mesh, sorry, and then we're using the 75 durometer, triple durometer squeegee. Then we're going to the 305 blue with a triple durometer, 75 triple durometer squeegee and the 230 mesh. And then we're using the 360 green, 230 mesh, triple durometer, 70 squeegee. And then we have the 032 uh, C using a 230 mesh and the triple durometer, 70 squeegee. And uh, again, these are wet on wet. People don't believe it can happen, but here we are doing it wet on wet. Then we're flashing it to keep the colors bright and intense, just like you would a regular plastic salt. And then we have the 072 blue. Again, 230 mesh, a 70 triple durometer squeegee. And then we go on to the violet C using the 230 mesh, 75 triple durometer squeegee. And then we go on to our printing black, our 1246 printing black, triple durometer squeegee, and the 230 mesh again. But here we have our highlight, 1250 highlight Axion white using a 230 mesh again, but we're using a 65 durometer, triple durometer squeegee for, to get some intensity. Then we're flashing it as you would normally do in a regular plastisol. And here you can see how intense it's becoming. But then we're gonna move on to our Crystallina. Here we have our Crystallina using a 60 uh, mesh and our 65 triple durometer squeegee. And here you go, here you have a finished product going on to the belt. This is Javier, he's helped us immensely today. And he's gonna hold up this design real quick. And then we're gonna put it on the dryer. And then we're gonna move on to the end of the dryer. And remember, this is all wet on wet, just like you would normal plastisol and how we did part one using the PVC. Here we have Axion, part two, just like our regular plastisol that we had done earlier today. And as you can see, here's a sample from earlier. It's really difficult to find which is which. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed our videos today. Please uh, visit our website at iccink.com for further details.